CataractCoach.com. Chopping in the bag for a soft nucleus. For times when you just can't flip the nucleus out of the bag, you can just chop it in the bag. Now, this is a complete cataract case of me operating. Starting off here with a paracentesis, and yes, I got good draping. Eyelash margin is sequestered. You see it's nicely positioned, eye in primary. Just put some anesthetic inside the eye. Here comes a dispersive viscoelastic agent to protect the cornea and fill the anterior chamber. So here's our dispersive agent, getting a good fill here. I like to get the eye to about physiologic IOP, not too overfilled. And now here comes our main incision. Going to use a diamond keratome to create a nice single plane incision here temporarily. I like to barely nick those limbal vessels, as you know. And so this is a complete cataract case that I did in our Beverly Hills Surgery Center very recently. And it's a pretty much a routine case. And in this case, we're going to end up with a little bit of a more conservative sized capsular rex. So here comes the capsular rex forceps, getting the rexes going. And you can see we're going to tear a nice 5 millimeter capsular rexes. Now, to flip the nucleus out of the bag, it's often easier if you have a little bit of a bigger capsular rexus, like 5.5 millimeters. But I think this one's going to be just about 5 millimeters, nice and round, beautifully centered. And we can measure there at the end. Yep, it's 5 millimeters. So here, we're going to do some hydro dissection, nice and gentle. And sometimes here, I can get the nucleus to come out of the bag. I tap it, get the fluid wave going across. Well, it spins. There's the spin. As you know the saying, if it does not spin, you will not win, but that's definitely spinning. Here comes the phaco probe and the chopper going with a high vacuum level. Get that phaco probe, buzz it into the nucleus, chopper goes in as well, and now there's the chop. Propagate that chop. A little bit of like a combo chop, not quite full horizontal or vertical. And then now look how you use the chopper to bring one piece of the nucleus out of the bag while the chopper holds the other heavy nucleus kind of away to give more of a gap. Now, do you need to sub-chop it anymore? Well, not really. Look, it's a pretty soft nucleus. And so we're able to just emulsify that hemi-nucleus very efficiently. There it is. Here comes the second hemi-nucleus, bringing it up. If you want to, you can further sub-chop it like that. But again, it's not a very dense nucleus. And you can see we can make short work of this case. So we're showing you a video here of the entire case start to finish unedited so we'll see all the little details here now look where the chopper goes in that safe position just to protect the capsule bag and now the rest of the cortex let's just remove it with the irrigation aspiration probe and you can see those incisions that i do like to barely nick the limbal vessels that it gives me good long-term healing and sealing of the incisions so here we go cortex removal cleaning that up and everything here is going to be pretty routine so yeah i just want to show you you want to have a lot of different skills in your repertoire. You want to be able to do a chop in the back. You want to be able to do a flip and chop or, you know, any other technique as well. Listen, stop and chop is great too. Divide and conquer. I want you to learn all of it. I want you to have all the techniques down and then you decide which one you're going to use for which case. So there's the nice looking capsule rexus. Get that bag inflated with cohesive viscoelastic. Let's do a little capsule polishing here. Clean up the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim. This will only takes a few seconds, and that should give us a beautiful result here. Again, otherwise, a totally normal case. This patient has elected for a monofocal lens and a goal of plano or emetropia. Here comes the preloaded 6mm optic. Here we go, delivering it nice and easy. Notice how keep the eye in primary. There, deliver the lens nicely right in the capsular bag. Beautifully done. Get that half to open up. And now we can judge the size of the capsular rexus because we have a 6 millimeter optic in the bag. So there it is, rotated around. And you can see, yep, it's definitely overlapping 360. So it's about a 5 millimeter rexus. Maybe it looks slightly smaller than that. So let's go behind the IOL and remove the viscoelastic from the bag. We'll get this all centered up. So nice technique here. Patient has a beautiful outcome. And remember, yes, you can definitely... Have a situation like this where you didn't pop it out of the bag. You don't flip the nucleus out of the bag. Leave it in the bag, and you're able to just chop right in the bag. Now, if you look right behind the posterior capsule, there we go. Actually, you know, it's all cleaned up. I thought there was a little tiny nuclear chip there, but no, that was in the anterior chamber. All removed. Again, this patient has total normal zyme support. Everything looks great. Sealing up the incision here. As you know, we do just a little hydration on the roof. That's enough. Go inside the eye with the BSS. Center up that lens. Remove any little tiny fragments. Oh, there's the one eyelash on the surface of the eye. We will get that off. Do not worry. I think eyelashes are a little bit on the dirty side, so I don't want to touch it right now. I'll use a sponge and I can sweep it off the field. 
or a squirt bottle. Or here at the end of the case, some Triam Sinlone going inside the eye. Just a little bit. That's about 0.5 milligrams, preservative-free. Put some uh, preservative-free moxifloxin inside the eye as well for end off the mice prophylaxis. And then there's the uh, sponge there, the wex cell. Okay, there, you'll get that one lash out of the way. And let's see what else. Are we going to do an LRI for a little bit of an astigmatism? Let's find out. In fact, we are. So a little bit of against the rule, opposite the main incision, maybe about a half diopter's worth. Let's see. And there's the LRI. So we about a half diopter's worth. All right, a beautiful case. So again, you don't have to flip it out of the bag. If it's a soft nucleus, yeah, you can still chop it right in the capsule bag, just like we showed you. Hey, remember to check out our teaching website, cataractcoach.com. So much great material. I promise you will love it. And you'll learn so much. There's a free email we send out every single day. Check it out.